the Lord gave me a word for 2023. Actually, I wasn't even asking him for a word for this year, but the Lord just gave it to me. It's from 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13. Be brave. 2023 is a year for bravery. Some translations render it be courageous. Uh, act like men. If we were to get real literal with the Greek word there, it's a single Greek word, and it literally means act the man or play the man. If we were to use uh, an American idiom, we could say man up. It's the same call that God gave to Joshua when Moses died and Joshua is taking the people into the promised land and the Lord says to him, be strong and of good courage, Joshua 1.6. It's the exact same word that God is giving to you for 2023. 2023 is a year to move forward with confidence, with bravery, with boldness. This is not a year to shrink back. It's not a year for reservation. It's not a year for self-preservation. It's not a year for timidity. It's a year for boldness, for bravery, for courage in the Holy Spirit. You're more unpopular than you've ever been. You've got more enemies than you've ever had. You have more resistance than you've ever faced. Be brave and step forward into the battle. I've learned something from Ezra 3.3. In Ezra 3.3, the people of God were facing death danger and fear from the people all around them in the surrounding lands. And yet, in the face of all that fear, they stepped forward and built an altar of worship to God. It's time to build your altar to God. Courage is not what we do because there is an absence of danger and fear. Courage is what we do in the face of danger and fear. Therefore, be brave, be strong, be courageous in the Lord. The Lord is with you. Put on the full armor of God. Be filled with the Holy Spirit and step forward into your assignment in 2023 with bravery, with confidence in God. Go forward in obedience and faith. God is with you in 2023. Be brave.